How are we supposed to do that? I guess I could say I'll deliver that. Maybe that will be so hard to do. Yeah, is she already gone? How did Emma get over there so fast? I have no idea. No, she's still here, good. But what's she do with the alcohol? Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Yes, they do. Um, the Stay Sober Society. The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. Exactly. And I can't Emmett get over the generosity know. of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Oh, now he knows. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house! Why what not? do we know about these people? They're nice. Yeah, they're friendly. They're a bunch of really great guys. We don't know that! Yes, we do. They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but... A pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. No, it won't. They'll be quiet. They'll be quiet? You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. A tambourine? You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! But, yeah. The thing of the Stay them. Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Well, that's mean to say. But I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no! Okay, then, forget it. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! I'm surprised you're still there. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a... Righteous face. Whoa. Creepy face. Though. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. Okay then. I just now know she's wearing a bow tie. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now yeah, all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your, uh, patent. Yeah. I have no idea what patent is, but... Gets in some kind of award or something? So what's I to deliver this to again? The law offices? Is that right? I think so. Okay, let's just go to the law offices. There it is, right there. The law uh, offices. Better not. Those lawyers sound kind of nasty. Okay, that's not going there then. So what are we supposed to do? Who could point you? Oh yeah, that's right. I need to go talk to Kid Tannen. Forgot about that. What the hell, Matches? You you got Kiwi all over my socks. Sorry, Kiwi. boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Exactly. Either you're here to, to shine to my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? A death wish. I guess I'm here to shine your shoes. Yeah, you shine those shoes. Um, I'm looking for Arthur McFly. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. And he's very busy today. Yeah, well, I known him first. So I win, haha. Ha. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the uh, office. What office? Uh, where's the office? I forget. 
Okay. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> peanut bowl? Seriously? Can't buy that hat. Could I buy sure. Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut bowl. Okay, can I have some of those peanuts then? Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. I'm guessing magnanimous means mean. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. All right, break time's over. Back to work. Could I just tear the hat? Um. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Yeah, I already know. Isn't the soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. Do I have to do this? How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar. And it don't like necessarily involve staying sober. Huh? You got some alcohol down there? So now what? About Arthur McFly. Yeah. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Yeah, I'm done. How can I not leave? So one more thing about that hat. Can I You're testing it? my patience, boy. Can I have some more peanuts? I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! Yeah. My head now. What happened to the peanuts that was in it, though? Like, what where did, did they do? fall off? Where did the peanuts fall oh. off? <clears throat> they just knocked that guy over. What a jerk. Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Emmett! Now run, Emmett. Oh, wow. Run! Do something! Oh, yeah, look at that throw. Emmett! Oh, crap, don't hit me. Good. Yeah, where'd I go, huh? Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Except for you. Okay, Fix then. me up! Of course I went to the law offices. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! You played football? So what happened to the penis then? Okay, so now we gotta go back to Einstein, Einstein and then sniff the hat. So let's do this. Come here, boy. Now here's a hat. Now you sniff and tell me where he is. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Yeah, go find him. Go find Arthur McFly. Where is he going? Only one way to find out. We chase him. Okay. Oh, the bakery. So he bakes cakes, huh? Huh. Deja vu. I would like a cake. Oh, he's at the apartment. Where that old lady's at. Or used to be an old lady. Yeah? Who is it? At least he does have a megaphone. I know! Yeah, I found your hat. There you go. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay. I guess I gotta give him the subpoena. Um, what'd I do with it? Oh, there it is. 
Okay. Do I seriously gotta ring the bell again? Wow. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. But where is he? I can't see him. Oh. Just had to Someone's move Someone's playing bit. tricks on me. Really? Nobody is playing tricks on you. Come on, let's ring, ring it again and then deliver it. There we go. What now? I hate whenever you mess up on something, you gotta do it all over again. It sucks. There we go. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Oh, really? Well, can I come up then? Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? Yes, you do. Yeah, we're family. I've got something for We've you. We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How'd you get I'm the not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. Don't close that. Oh, wow. So now what? Need any help? Yeah, I do. Um, never mind. Okay, maybe I don't. Guess we gotta ring it again. Here we go. The constant ringing of the bells. And then the constant talking. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? We are the law. We got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. No, Some don't other time. That. Are you serious? Why if I mess up something, he just shuts that and then we gotta ring the bell again just to make him come down again. This is not fun. What now? Uh, talk to him again, I guess. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We're family. I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Sure, yeah. why not? Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Oh my god. Some gosh. other time. Now what? You know what? Let's go to the hens. To get Arthur out, out you'll need to go and get something from the town center. Like what? Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Oh, I thought the dog said that. Need any help? Um, never mind. Wait a second. To get Arthur out, you'll need to go and get something from the town center. Like what? This is confusing. But let's go, I guess. Yeah. Sorry for wasting your time, M. I mean, um, Einstein. Einstein, whatever your name is. Yeah, you still can't find us, huh? Kid 10 is back. Think he's still mad at you? Um, yeah, I think he is. So I guess we gotta go talk to him then. Hey, Tannen, I'm sorry for earlier. I just really wanted that hat. It's for my collection. I'm sure you understand, right? I mean, I got an aw awesome collection of hats. It's kind of my hobby. So I hope you're not mad. Yeah, I'm back. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Who says uh, that? Get him, Matches. Now we gotta run again. Wow, we really gotta watch this again.
What's he saying? Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right, right now. now! That's an order! Yeah, I don't take orders don't from you, though. Don't make me angry, schmucko! Get down here and face the music! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. You can't get away that easy! Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Let's record him, sure. See, nobody puts... What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Okay, so there we go. Now you're how only we making it down? worse for yourself. I don't think they're in the a talkative mood right now. The longer you stay up right there, now. the longer I'm gonna take a vacuate in your guts. Even Einstein, help! Yeah, help! Yeah, lay off! Get away from that crazy mutt! Go, go away, dog. We're Good busy job, here. Einstein. Go on, scram! Or Arnie, whatever you will be called. Yeah, hey. I'm gone. Where'd he go? How do you not see me? Let him get away, idiot! Well, that was easy. So now we gotta go back and talk to... Um... Arthur. Okay, let's just... We'll eat. get that subpoena delivered. Yeah, I'm sure we will. So do I need Einstein's help again? Or can I just go over here and quickly go back to... Where he was? I bet you I probably need Einstein's help. And yep, I think I do. Oh wait, maybe... Hold on, I can't exactly remember where to go, so maybe we do need his help again. Yeah, um, I kind of forgot where Arthur was, so... Could you help us again, Einstein? That'd be awesome. There we go. This hat belongs to my grandfather. Okay, so I guess I still remember where he's at. Except I don't know how to get back over there. Maybe it's this way. Oops, not that way. Yeah, maybe it's back this way. If this camera angle would work with me, that'd be great. Okay, yep, now we're going back to where Arthur McFly is. Yeah, we're back. What now? Yeah, um... We got the tape recorder. Scrawny little runt! Get down here right now! Could he see us? Right away, boss! But could he see us? Ah, uh, he's stupid. Where's kid? Yeah, kid's not here. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> no, don't go back uh, inside. Arthur. Hmm. Maybe I should have led with the subpoena. <sighs> we gotta do this again. Why? Why is this so difficult? What now? Now we have to use the tape recorder again. There we go. God, listen to this again since we can't what skip it. What are you doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! I can't believe you failed for that uh. again. Where's kid? Yep, now go to the inventory. Get the subpoena out, and there we go. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Yep. Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Arnie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, you're in trouble. Now can we go? Yep, time to leave. 
Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Yeah, you better have a lab. Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Yeah, let's go. I'm just talking to your older self. I'm sure you want to meet him. He's a pretty cool guy. Except he's in jail for a crime to commit. Which sucks. Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man! That's great! Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel! While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Yeah, pretty much everything that you said. Yeah, exactly. Could you repeat uh... that in English? Emmett! Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? They're not fancy drunkards. Moses! It's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is or where I go pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. T tend to the... What? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Okay, then. Well, seems like we're in some sort of a pickle now, but that's all I have time for today. When we come back, we'll hopefully complete episode one, and then we can get started on episode two. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace.